So I guess it took about 45 minutes to take out 41 minutes. I had already started working on getting these braids out of my hair and I've been doing it for 45 minutes and I still have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, it took me about 45 minutes to take out 41. It's never been this crinkly. Crinkly. <laughs> if that's the word. I like it though, but I'm gonna finish taking these braids out tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. I started taking the braids out of my hair last night or sometime early last evening and grew weary doing it, stopped to do something else, and I just could not get back to taking these braids out. I think I said I had about 11 or 12 left to take out, and I'm gonna do that, but before or during the time I'm taking these braids out, I am going to say to you, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sharing, liking, and commenting on my video. I thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I looked at my numbers this morning, and it was 750. You guys, we have 250 to go to get to 1,000, but I can't do it without you. They seem to want to come together in these braids, but I am determined not to damage my lock. So I take my time taking these out and that the black hairs, which is color treated hair, which is my oldest hair, they're the smallest part on the braid and I'm just taking my time pulling them out because I don't want any issues and I don't plan to cut this hair anytime soon. That's not my plan. The gray hair that I'm up to right now I want you to see this, that I can pull that part and it's not going to pull completely all the way up, but it'll come loose for me. And so therefore I can take this braid out a little bit faster, but I still have to be careful while taking the braids loose. So if you don't want to spend this much time on your hair, do not do this style and let it stay in for days. Do not, do not put in braids that are this small. Remember, I had 52 of these braids, but I want to show you the beauty of it all. That, get this so you can see the, it's not really a curl, but it's more like crinkles. And a lot of these crinkles together just comes together beautifully. And for me, right now, it's been it's been worth it. A lot of you were saying you can't wait until the takedown, but this is the takedown. But now, I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna speed this video up, because I don't wanna take up too much of your time. I've already been on camera now more than four minutes. I'm gonna concentrate on taking these out.
I'm taking out my last braid now. I'll tell you as soon as I finish this braid how much time it took for me to take the final braids out that you saw me start with this morning. I want you to notice that it is not as easy to take it out as it is to put them in because they seem to be loving each other. They're holding on tight. But now I am finished. And if you ask me if it's worth it, I'll tell you at the end of the video. Now, don't put these braids in your hair and let them stay in a week. If you are not willing to put the time in to take them out. As I was taking these braids out, there was one braid that did not seem to want to come loose when I got right to the end up in here. I felt until I, I could feel one of the parts, one of the components of the braid. And so I had to pull that one out, which means now I have two parts that's really like a two strand twist, but it didn't want to come out. After a week, my hair, my hair on my head is supposed to lock. And my braids were saying, okay, she wants us to lock. And that's what they were trying to do. And that's why it was pretty hard or a little bit more challenging taking the braids out than putting them in. I didn't think that I braided it that tight, but because of the humidity and everything that I experienced with my hair from the beach and outside just being in South Carolina, my hair became moist and then it would dry and I did not spray anything on my hair during the time that it has been it has been braided. So it's been trying to lock. And I think that that's one of the reasons why my gray is uh, locking so well is because I think shampooing my hair often has a lot to do with the process of locking and that if because my hair is wet, then it's dry. And when it's dry, just like with your loose natural hair, it sort of shrinks up and grabs onto each other. And then they also have that shed hair within. So they just hug on each other and love on each other and lock. And that's exactly what those braids were doing. Don't do this style. If you don't have the time to take them out if you don't want to take the time if you are not patient enough with your locks do not do this style i believe that the results were worth it i was able to wear three different styles while having my hair braided and this is this is the results and i i really love it Can you tell how much I like this style? This now is my favorite braid out. My braid out is my go-to style. I'm gonna tell you, we all, we, we love our sister locks and we know that we don't have to do much to our sister locks, but we have to take care of it. We have to shampoo it and Follow whatever rules you choose to follow to take care of your locks. Because I've learned before I had sister locks that, that the word of God is true. <laughs> and even the word says you're going to reap what you sow. You are going to reap what you sow. Now, I want you to see my harvest. This is my harvest. I put the time in and I got the results I want. This is a sister who loves her locks. I love my friends, I love my family. I love my followers and my subscribers. I especially love God because he's been so good to me. He's been better to me than I could be to myself. 
yes. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.